Hey friends, Liel is here. Welcome to a quick detox flow. Hop on your mat and let's get started. We will begin this practice in Sukhasana easy pose. So come all the way down to your bums and find a cross-legged seated position. Place the hands to rest on your knees. Lengthen out of your crown and go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep, long inhale into your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it out. One more, just like that. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Blink your eyes to open. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, right hand to your left knee. Look over your left shoulder and find a twist. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, left hand to your right knee. Look over your right shoulder and find a twist. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, right hand, left knee. Now lengthen out of your crown and then begin to twist deeper as you gazing over your left shoulder. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, left hand, right knee, lengthen upward, look over the right shoulder, go deeper into your twist. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, plug the hands into your heart. Bring the hands in front of you, make your way to all fours, find a tabletop position, bring the shoulders over your hands, hips over your knees, extend the left leg back behind you, engage your core, reach the right arm in front of you. Lengthen back, reach forward, inhale, and exhale, tuck and curl, bring that elbow and knee to touch, contract your core, round your upper back. Inhale, lengthen, extend, exhale, tuck and curl. Two more, inhale, lengthen, exhale, curl in, inhale, lengthen, exhale, tuck and curl. Inhale, lengthen. Then bring the right hand down, shift all the way to your right hand and slowly begin to float the left arm upward, coming into modified side plank. Flex your left toes in towards your face, find a lot of engagement in your foot. Reach up through the fingers, you're welcome to stay here or add a little bit more challenge, bringing your left hand behind your head and we're going to add some side crunches. So crunching that left knee to, the right, to your left elbow and extend and crunch and extend and let's go for five four three last two and last one inhale extend exhale bring your left knee down and then shred the knee the left arm goes underneath your right arm lower down to your left shoulder option one reach the right arm in front of you or send it back to your lower back for a little bit deeper sensation bring the gaze upward close your eyes for a moment full cycle of breath inhale exhale bring the right hand down to the earth pressing the floor away coming back into our tabletop opposite side extend the right leg back behind you reach the left arm in front of you find a lot of engagement here inhale exhale curl in knee with elbow to touch Inhale to lengthen, exhale, curl in, inhale, lengthen, exhale, curl in, really engage your core here, inhale, lengthen, exhale, tuck and curl, lengthen up, then bring your left hand down, shift all the way to your left arm and begin to sweep the right arm skyward, flexing the right toes in towards your face, keep your core tight, you're welcome to stay here or to add Side crunches, right hand behind your head, and let's go. Knee with elbow crunch, extend, and crunch, and extend, and go five, four, last three, last two, last one. Inhale, extend, exhale, bring your right knee down, and then trend the needle, right arm underneath your lift, lower down to your right shoulder, and take just exact the same variation as you did on the other side. Close the eyes for a moment. Full cycle of breath. Inhale. 
Exhale. Bring the left hand down to the earth, pressing the earth away, making our way back to all fours, tucking the toes under downward facing dog, begin to glide the sit bones high and up towards the sky. Place the feet hip distance apart. And find a little bit movement into in your downward facing dog. So pedal up through the legs. Try to bring your chest closer towards your thighs. Relax the head and neck. Find a lot of length in your spine as you keep reaching your seat bones upward. Inhale, come high to your toes. Exhale, ripple forward, find plank pose. Now keep reaching forward. Let the shoulders go beyond your fingers, lower halfway into chaturanga. You can drop to your knees if you need. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. Then a full breath out. Inhale, bring the gaze up. And as you exhale, step your feet. Feet in between your hands, halfway length, and hands can come to your shin bones or keep your fingers and in, on your mat and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, mountain pose, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, plug the hands to your heart. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep your arms up high. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, hinge at your hips, bow over your legs, let go of your head and neck. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, sink your bums low, sweep the arms to the sky. Beautiful. Big breath in. Exhale, plug the hands into your heart. Shift all the way to your right leg and then hover your left foot slowly with control. Gracefully, we're going to step the left toes to the back of your mat. Inhale, coming up into a high lunge. Exhale, drop your left knee down. Press the hips forward. Relax the shoulders. Half splits and the seat bones back. Flex the right toes in towards your face. Beautiful, back into crescent lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up. Now high lunge, lift your left knee back up. Standing split, sprinkle the fingertips down, sweep the left heel up towards the sky and then fold over your right leg. One breath, let it go. Now step the left foot to the back of your mat, step the right foot to the back of your mat and go through your vinyasa. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step or have the feet in between your hands. Inhale, glance out, find a long spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Sink your bums low, reach the arms in the front of you. Shift all the way to your left foot. Begin to hover your right foot. And then gracefully stepping the foot to the back of your mat, coming into crescent lunge, Anjanayasana. Inhale. Exhale, drop your right knee down. Press the hips forward. Good. Half split. Sprinkle the fingers down. Set the hips to the back, flex the left toes in towards your face, lengthen your spine, inhale. Exhale, rebend into that left knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up into crescent lunge and then high lunge, lift your right knee up and we're moving from here into standing split. Fingers down to the floor, sweep the right heel up high, Fold over your left leg. Halfway lengthen. And then vinyasa flow. Right foot to the back of your mat. Left foot to the back of your mat. Lower halfway. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale, bring your gaze forward. Exhale, step or have the feet in between your hands. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, sink your bums low, reach the arms in front of you. Shift all the weight into the heels. Squeeze your inner thighs. Bring the hands into your heart. Inhale. Exhale, find a twist. Begin to hook your left elbow outside of your right knee. Squeeze the base of your palms and then stack your elbows one on top of each other. 
you're welcome to stay here and this twist for a few breaths. Or take an arm balance, side crow. For side crow, drop the sit bones to the heels. Bring the hands down to the earth, place them shoulders width apart. Begin to cast your heart forward, shift forward as you're floating the feet up. Holding three, two, one. Place the feet back down. Come back into your twist. Everyone, kick your left heel to your glute and then gracefully place the foot to the back of your mat, coming into revolved crescent lunge. Gaze over your right shoulder, pull the belly away from your thigh. Maybe here, go ahead and open up your arms. Find a little bit deeper twist. Inhale, exhale. Reach the right arm back behind you. Reach the left arm in front of you and all the way skyward. Rise, pivot, open, warrior two. Sink deep into your warrior. Find a lot of engagement in your arms. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Sink low, breathe into your side body. Exhale, back into revolved crescent lunge. So begin to reach and hooking that left elbow outside of your right knee. Maybe open the arms. Or again, plug the hands into your heart. You can stay here or take another arm, another arm balance into running men. So again, place your hands down, hinge forward. You might rest your right thigh on your right elbow as you floating the legs up, finding a little bit air for three, two, one, making our way back into that revolved crescent lunge. Then straighten the right leg, send the hips back into revolved triangle pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring the gaze to your right big toe. Step your left foot to meet your right and bend your knees, sink into chair pose. Grab the other edge of your right foot. Inhale, begin to come up to standing as you lifting the right knee into your chest and sending the right arm back behind you. You must stay here with your knee bent or try to extend the leg forward. Bring the gaze to your right fingers. Keep your core tight, find your breath. Holding for three, two, and one. Slowly let go of your foot. Float the leg back behind you. Cartwheel the hands down into standing split, option one. Or option two, we will find a few hops into a handstand. So you're gonna bend into your left knee, stack the shoulders over hands, and then begin to kick all the way up, a few hops, maybe finding a little bit of air. And from here, go ahead and take your vinyasa flow. So you can step back into plank, lower chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing dog. Full breath in, and full breath out. Inhale, bring the gaze up. Exhale, step or hop the feet in between your hands. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, sink low, arms skyward. Plug the hands to your heart. Inhale. Exhale, go ahead and find your twist, right elbow outside of your left knee. Again, stack your elbows, lift your heart higher towards your thumbs, sink a little bit lower. Stay here or take an arm balance, side crow, place the hands down, shift forward, float your feet. Hold three, two, one. Place the feet back down, bring the hands back to your heart. Everyone kick the right heel to your glute and then float the right toes back behind you, landing in the revolved crescent lunge. You can keep your arms, your hands in prayer, or maybe fly the arms, moving into a deeper twist. Inhale, exhale. Reach the left arm behind you, right arm in front of you, and all the way up. Rise up, pivot, open, find warrior two. Inhale, 
Go deeper into your warrior as you exhale. Reverse your warrior. Breathe into your side body. And as you exhale, back into revolved crescent lunge. So reach that right elbow outside of your left knee. Bring the hands to prayer or open your arms. Stay here or take an arm balance. Again, hinging forward. Extending the legs, holding three, two, one. Making our way back into revolved lunge. And then straighten that left leg. Send your left hip back, right hip forward into revolved triangle pose. Find your breath. Hold for three. And one. Bring the gaze to your left big toe. Step the right foot to meet your left. Bend your knees, sink into chair pose. Grab the outer edge of your left foot and begin to come all the way up to standing, reaching the left arm behind you. Stay here or extend the leg forward. Find your twist, find your breath. Hold for three, two, one. Let go of your foot. Begin to flow the leg back behind you. Sprinkle the fingers down to the floor. Standing split for a few breaths. Or again, find a few hops into a handstand. So begin with stacking your bones, shoulders over hands. Bend into the right knee and find a little hops. Maybe you can catch a little bit air. Ooh, maybe not today. <laughs> and when it's when you're done, step back into plank. Lower chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a cleansing in breath. Open mouth, let it out. Now bring your right hand to your left calf, ankle, or outside of your left heel. Gaze underneath your left armpit and find a twist. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bring the right hand back down. And then switch your hand, left hand, outside of your right calf, ankle, or heel. Gazing underneath your right armpit. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then back into downward facing dog. Go ahead, drop to your knees. Find a child's pose. Or if you want to play a little bit with inversions, I'm going to go into a headstand, supportive headstand. You can move your mat to a wall or just stay as you are. In your child's pose, finding a few breaths. If you want a tutorial for a headstand, I'm going to leave you a link below. I do have a tutorial how you can use a wall and begin to overcome your fear to go upside down. If you, in a headstand, begin to make your way back down into child's pose. Reach the arms in front of you. Forehand resting on your mat. Close your eyes. Let's fill up with the biggest breath of this day. Huge, long, full, rich inhale. Hold your breath. Take another sip of air. Keep holding your breath for five, and four, three, two. Open mouth. Exhale. <sighs> Lift your gaze slowly. Let's roll up to seated, bringing the shoulders over hands. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, plug the hands into your heart. Fill up with gratitude for moving your body, for creating time for yourself. 
Whew, I don't know about you guys, but I broke some sweat. Thank you for tuning in today. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Give me some thumbs up if you loved practicing with me today. And if you guys have any special requests to break down some poses, I would be happy to make for you some tutorials. Just let me know in the comments below which poses you would like me to break down for you. And again, thank you for hopping in, practicing with me. Have a beautiful day wherever you are. From my heart to yours, namaste.